Who won? Hey, everyone, and happy Saturday and happy, I guess, pre-St. Patrick's Day. We're kind of here to celebrate. So I can't even talk properly. And we just started celebrate St. Patrick's Day. And I'm all decked out. I have my little four leaf clover on here. And I also have James Deere in the house. Hey, James, can you say hi to everyone? Hello, everybody. Welcome to the, to the live stream. We're excited to have you here. Awesome. And we have people from all over the place. I see Alberta, Canada. I see Connecticut. I see California, Switzerland, New Jersey, Quebec from Eastern Washington. And we actually have had a crazy busy schedule the last three days because I've been giving classes for the Sewing and Stitchery Expo. We've been giving virtual classes. So this is actually, I think, my fifth live presentation over the last couple of days. I do want to apologize for us having to postpone uh, Thursday night's live. We did have some technical difficulties that uh, we didn't account for. So I apologize, but I appreciate you guys joining us. And we do have some awesome things. We have our free giveaway, but we did also mention that we're going to be sharing some big news with you guys. And that's probably one of the things I want to cover first. Uh, if any of you did get a chance to attend our Patches Made Easy webinar that was, how long ago was that, James? Like, three weeks ago, four weeks ago, something like that. What's that? Over a month ago. Over a month ago. Time flies when you're having fun. But if you did get a chance to attend our Patches Made Easy webinar and you had fun, then give us some hearts, some thumbs up, all that good stuff. Uh, we actually uh, really enjoyed that. And I did not prepare because I didn't know what to expect, but I didn't prepare properly for that. And I do appreciate everybody's patience. Now, for those of you who didn't attend, it was by far our biggest live webinar that we've had to date. We actually sold out at 2,000 attendees. So we did have to kind of shut the doors and cap it off at 2,000 people. And I did my best to uh, try and get enough product in on what I thought, you know, I speculated we would do for an event. And I greatly misjudged it because we ended up selling out of everything within, you know, uh, probably the first couple hours of doing that webinar. And we have gotten everything shipped out. My apologies if you had to wait. But the good news is everything is back in stock. And uh, the patches is a big focal point for us. If you haven't seen some of the stuff that we've been doing, uh, this was one of the patches that we created. Let's see if the camera will get in here nice and clean. So we have a simulated uh, em marrow embroidery stitch that looks fantastic. This is using Mylar. I did release a video just a few days ago with this one here, which was the Canadian flag with Mylar. And again, the camera is giving me some dough. There we go. Now it's nice and clean. But we did also release this one for our Valentine's party. So we gave away a free Valentine's. And the, the beautiful thing is these marrow borders look as good as the ones done on a marrow machine because there is a special machine that does these. And this is actually a marrow machined. This is a commercially made patch. And there we go, nice and clean. And you can tell it looks great, but you can always tell if it is a marrow machine because there is a tail. The tail is right here on the back. And that's how you can tell if it was done on a marrow machine. And we did show a couple of different ways where we have the do-it-yourself marrow borders. And we also have the ready-made patches, which we actually have circles, uh, rectangles, we have squares and we have ovals. And the way we did it is we created what we like to call the perfect placement process. So if you end up getting any of our blank emblems that are already marrow bordered, which they kind of look like this, they're just blank emblems already done. They have the PVC and buckaroon backing on them. We actually have a uh, sort of a series of steps where you place it down and it holds it down with an e-stitch or a blanket stitch if you're in the home industry and because it lines up perfectly you get incredible detail and even the lettering going around this object it is 100 percent perfect there you know so there's no margin for error now that is our background we are I guess were emblem manufacturers since the 1950s. So my kind of creating this whole thing and giving you guys the tools to make professional looking emblems and patches is what we set out to do. 
Now I'm going to very quickly just go to our uh, site because I want to show you where this is on our site now. And uh, da -da -da -da, James, I've lost my site here. Okay, uh, James is going to come over here. We're going to get James on camera for a second because I can't find what I'm looking for. Oh, here he comes. My tabs. Okay. There we go. Okay. Thank you, James. James, actually, come on in here and say hi, James. We we got him in here, anyways. Hello, everyone. Okay. So James is is with us here. It's been a month now that he's uh, been with us in Costa Rica, and we are loving having him and his beautiful girlfriend with us. So I'm going to share this right here, and. I'm trying to see if I have this. Okay, uh, new technology, guys. So we're trying to get this going as well. And there we go. Actually, we did it. And I'm going to go back to my other tab. And I apologize for talking my way through this the way I am. Uh, okay, and James, let me know if this is working properly. Am I good? Okay, so in our uh, site, we actually have digitizing made easy if you're not familiar with our site. And digitizing made easy has gone through a lot of changes recently. And this is one of the reasons why we postponed our webinar is because our site is now performing much faster than it ever has before. So we are making great, uh, I guess, headway with that. But under the equipment on our website, there is the pa uh, embroidery patches. And when I click that, it will come up and there is a list of things that you can check out. One is our patch design. So these are the do-it-yourself patch files. And as I mentioned, we have circles, squares, ovals with rounded edges and with you know 90 degree corners. We have our hearts. We have, of course, the clovers for St. Patrick's. And I have released a couple of shields and a couple of flattened and pointed oval shapes as well. So we will be adding new patch shapes pretty much weekly for the next little while. We're gonna have lots of new ones. So if you're looking for something specific, please let us know because I've been going in digitizing mode and getting those done. Now the, uh, the other ones, which are the ready-made patches, this one we did at the event, we sold a bundle where you could buy a bundle of a whole bunch of patches, but now we actually on our site have them available so you can uh, pick and choose what you want. So if you are interested just in circular patches, you can click on circular, you can choose let's say a gold marrow with a white drill, and when you click on that button to view it, you actually can choose which size you want, whether it's two and a half, three, three and a half inches. And when you order one, it comes in a dozen. So you basically, if I order, let's say the two and a half circle, you get 12 patches for $12, which that's a buck a patch. And I got to be honest, if you're doing patches and you want to make money, that is the most cost effective way to do it with our you know, perfect placement uh, process because you're saving about three to 4,000 stitches of runtime on your machine, which, you know, literally would cost you at least probably $3.50 of runtime. So it is a great way to actually save money when you're doing that. Now, you can also take a look at our other patch products because we did release a bunch of products which actually are uh, let's just go here. I got to go back one more, which are the patch supplies. And we do have view patch supplies. We have 16 different colors of twill. And this is a poly twill with a PVC and buckroom backing. So it, it's, it's stiff. It's made specifically for patches. We have the tacky patch. We have the prep patch. We have the post patch iron on and we actually have our mylar sheets now. So those are all things that we've added to our site and they are in stock. So we are ready to go this time. And I tried to uh, make sure that from this point forward, if you wanna make patches, we got everything that you need. Okay, um, so that is that. James, do you have any? No, we're good? Okay, awesome. If you guys have any questions, just please let us know. James is actually monitoring things over there and he will do his best to help us with that. So I'm going to click off this now. Do I stop sharing, don't I, James? Okay, I'm still learning the technology here, guys. Um, now, here was the big announcement that we had for you guys. And I'm gonna tell you right now so that it's all you know out and you guys are hearing this first 
So we will be announcing it publicly later in uh, the week, next week. Uh, if you did attend our Patches Made Easy webinar, you know you got the circular patch pattern free, and I gave you a bundle of designs for making patches, so you got all of that as a bonus. And whenever we do a live webinar, I do want to make sure that it is worth your time and your investment, and we always try to give you you know, products that far outweigh the cost of being there. So if we do a live webinar, they're lots of fun and I hope you can join us. But I am going to add, I'm going to sweeten the pot. So if you did attend the Patches Made Easy webinar, we are going to put something in your classroom on Wednesday because this is being announced on Wednesday. We are making the Patches Made Easy webinar public to everybody, all the, the entire webinar, all of the steps, all the videos, the, the tutorials we've done, they are going to be available to everybody on YouTube. You just have to sign up to watch them, uh, but you do not get the free bundle that we actually gave the people who attended the webinar. And for those of you who did attend, go to your classroom because all of our St. Patrick's Day patches, there's four different sizes, these are going to be automatically in your classroom free of charge. So thank you for joining us. If you want to watch the Patches Made Easy webinar and see how we did everything and all of the stuff that we went through, then just, uh, and is there a link for that yet, James? Or I guess we're announcing it on Wednesday. So you're hearing it first, but if you've signed up for our newsletter, if you get our emails on Wednesday, we will be announcing that and you can watch that webinar in its entirety absolutely free. So if you're happy about that, if you're looking forward to it, give us some some hearts, some thumbs up. Uh, this was a big undertaking, a couple years in the making for us, and we are super excited about it. Um, also, just to show you real quick before we move on to St. Patty's, here are some of those shapes that I showed you on, on the website, but they actually are perfect. They This is the shield with the uh, straight edges. These are all the oval shapes. We're doing a whole bunch more shields and shapes. I do have eggs planned because Easter's coming, so those are coming soon. So all of these can be made on your embroidery machine. And of course, here are the hearts as well. And the whole idea is you start out with just a piece of material, and the way we set up the designs, by the time you're done, you will have a perfect marrowed edge. And let's get the focus here. Come on. Anyways, trust me, it's perfect. James, I guess it's trying to capture, there we go. Okay, so it, it actually looks great when it's done. So those are all of the patches. Uh, now I'm gonna show you guys some of the fun stuff that we have coming up. And this is the free design. I told you guys that you would get this design right here. It is a Kiss Me, and it's kind of funny because we did the Kiss Me theme again. We did this for Valentine's Day, and we are doing it for St. Patty's Day. So it's a Kiss Me patch, but if you notice at the top, there is a special little tab that I put on here. So this can actually be worn as a little pendant, okay? So you can, I guarantee if you give this to somebody, you might get a kiss in return, so that is awesome. But this one is pre-made. I did it for Mylar, so you can get that beautiful sparkle that you see here. And I gotta figure out this camera, James. Okay, anyways, we there we go. Okay, so it has a really nice sheen and sparkle to it, but that is the free patch. So I'm gonna go back to share screen. You might have to come to my rescue again, James, but let's see if I actually can do this all by myself. Did it come up, James? Not yet, right? No problem. I am going to go back over here and let's do this. Yay, okay. Aren't you proud of me, James? I did that all by myself. Okay, <laughs> now uh, with the St. Patrick's Day, the way we've done this is, and actually I gotta go back to over here. Okay, so we actually have our St. Patrick's Day and these are the new patches that I just showed you that are available and I showed you where they are now on our site. 
but this one is the free design that you're going to get. And I will go through a video in a moment. I'm gonna go through three videos all at the same time so you see them one after the other. But this is the free design that you will get. When you get these files, we actually give them to you in all of the file formats for any machine that is in existence pretty much. Uh, we do not include the EMB files because it does funny things. It generates all kinds of trims. If you do have Hatch, if you're a Hatch owner, make sure when you bring in these files into your software, you tell it to not convert it into objects. It has to be left as stitches or it will generate a whole bunch of trims throughout the design. So you do get also the uh, SVG files. Uh, so you can, if you have a cutter, you can actually cut these within your cutter and we give you the finishing one as well. Now we do have a bundle just like we did at Valentine's Day. So you got that patch for free, but we also have a St. Patrick's Day saying bundle that is going to be included. And not only do you get the sayings, but I've done this really cool St. Patrick's string light. And you might've seen this actually on my shirt. I actually took one of these string lights and I put it on my lapel on my lavender mic, but I also have these ones here that these are actually done for string lights and I can string up as many of them as I want. And I've included all of these to be run singly, also on a five by seven hoop. So it's grouped so you can do three of them at a time. And I did position it so that you can do a bunch of them on a 200 by 300. And this is actually using uh, mylar, but it's also using organza. That's how I got them to be so nice and green. So that is what we are including for the string lights. These are really cool because these are earrings. We did some jewelry and this is not actually using the mylar. This is using our uh, patch prep. So it's a very thick film and we actually uh, sandwich the patch prep between two pieces of uh, mylar and just ran it on the machine. It's a low enough density that when it's actually done, it is almost like freestanding lace. And if you look right here, it is done on both sides. So we actually have it set up so that they are, uh, you know, I did the same bobbin on both sides. I just took some um, little jewelry, I guess, pieces for the ears and we put them on there and I can put this one on my earring, there we go. Okay, so you have a set of earrings that you can do, and these are really fast. These don't take any time at all. I better take this off. Okay, um, they don't take any time at all, and this is what they actually look like when they are in the hoop. So you can actually see right here, I've done three of them inside a five by seven hoop, and I just have the mylar on there, and it looks actually, actually, sorry, this is the string light. That wasn't the earrings. I should have shown the sample earlier. Anyways, that's that one. Now there is a couple other things. So we have the saying so far, we have the uh, string lights, we have the earrings, and then of course we need to do our exclusive bonus. And those other designs that I showed you, if you are a member on our Ultimate Stash, those are available in your membership for download. Uh, if you remember when we did Valentine's Day, if you got our Valentine's bundle, which James will put actually in the descri uh, descriptions, you can link straight to it. And as a bonus, we are including our Valentine gnome. So I did this patch right here and it is 2021 Luck of the Irish. I did a gnome for Valentine's Day. So if, you, if you're kind of getting the hint, we're commemorating most of the major holidays with a new friend that is going to be theme related all the way through. And I did this design already set up in the patch, but I also did it in four different sizes. So he is two and a half inches, uh, three inches, three and a half inches. And then I also did a seven inch design as well. So actually let's go. And just so you know, all of these, the, uh, the gnomes, everything that is in this bundle is $16.95. So it is a great deal if you want to get dressed up for St. Patrick's Day, you get all of the fun stuff that you can uh, you know, run all at the same time. Now I'm gonna just stop sharing here and I am getting used to all this technology. I am having trouble keeping up with all this stuff, but luckily James has been here to help me get past the learning curve. So here is the sew out of the mid-sized gnome. 
So there we go. He is actually, let's see, we get him nice and clean. Now the registration on these guys is perfect. Everything lines up. I made sure I digitized these so that they would actually stitch out perfectly. And you can actually see right here is my Valentine's gnome. So I did my Valentine's seven inch gnome. And here he's going to be added to the wall. And here is the seven inch St. Patrick's Day gnome. So that one is included and all of the detail on there is perfect as well. I have been mentioning that after spending 15 years on the road and doing a lot of traveling and I have not been traveling, we've been doing virtual events and stuff like that, but all this time at home, I get to play and digitize and come up with a whole bunch of new techniques and new fun things. So we're just trying to stay really busy and give you guys as much fun stuff as we possibly can. Now, do we have any questions? I, I mentioned this would be a pretty short Facebook Live, but I have three videos to show you guys just with regards to the free design to show you the steps. And I think that one already went up on YouTube, didn't it, James? The free yeah, design? Okay. It will be going up right okay. after the stream. Okay, right after the stream, it will be going live on YouTube so you can see it there. And then uh, some of the other ones, I think those will be going up live later on, but this stream will be live too, right? Okay, awesome. So is there any questions, James, at all? Or are we all good? Um, one second. No problem. And I'm going to see if I can get this video up so I have it prepped. Okay, and I do have my video ready here, James. So if you'd rather I go ahead and do that right now, I can do that. Perfect. I'm just getting questions together now. Okay, so James is going to get some questions together. I'm going to bring this up and share it. So and one of the questions is, can yep. we ship to Canada or to UK? And if you do want to know, we'd be happy to answer that if you send us an email at yes. contact at embroiderylegacy.com, and we can give you a shipping quote. Yes, we can give you a shipping quote. And I know that our warehouse uh, did have or is having a meeting specifically regarding Canadian shipping. This it should have either happened late this week or early in the week. The UK, I'm not 100% sure of, but yes, we can definitely get you a quote. Okay. Do cut files come with the patches? Yes, cut files do come with the patches. We make sure that we give you everything that you need to actually use your brother scan and cut, or if you have a cricket or silhouette, anything like that, we make sure that they cut the correct size. So you will get a nice clean cut, just like what you see here, that will match the embroidery file. What fabric are you using for the wall art gnomes? Uh, for the wall art gnomes, uh, I, I don't have a lot of choice here in um, Costa Rica, so believe it or not, this was, I believe, a napkin, a white napkin that I actually just sewed it on. So it's a napkin material, and I found them at a dollar store here in Costa Rica. And I have been, I'm, I'm running short on supplies. So if anybody's coming to this neck of, the, neck of the woods soon, I have a whole list of stabilizers and things that I need here. Can they rewatch Patches Made Easy if they missed this the first time? Yep, it will be available, as I mentioned. If you want to... Uh, the, the Patches Made Easy webinar will be on YouTube, and we are offering the free circle patch, I believe, right, James? Yep. So that will be a bonus uh, that you will just go to a sign-up sheet with, on our site. So the webinar is free to watch, but if you want to try to make a patch, we'll include a free design so you can try it as well, just like we've given you the free designs for uh, St. Patty's Day and for, or, and for uh, Valentine's. But uh, you can actually watch it as many times as you want now because it will be available on YouTube. But if you want the files, you just need to sign up on our website and we'll send you the file. Awesome. Um, if they aren't available at the moment, say they're on the road right now, will they, able to, will they be able to download the free file later on? Uh, this free file for the St. Patrick's, I think that it will be available for the next couple weeks because St. Patty's is the 17th, I think. Yep. So okay. it is on our website. There is a link in the 
the chat box on either Facebook or YouTube Live. Yep. So you can go there and download it. It will be available for a couple weeks. And we do keep the St. Patty's bonus pack, the uh, bundle that we've created for a couple weeks. We do cut those off. Like right now, if you miss the Valentine's one, it's not available because we want the, the cool thing that we're trying to do is all of these commemorative gnomes. And there will be one coming out for Easter, you know, hint, hint. But you can collect them all throughout the year. Awesome. Um, are we selling any Velcro? With the patches? Uh, the Velcro, if them. you did go on to our uh, site on our YouTube channel, I did a video, and I'm looking for the Velcro patch right now, but I did a video on how to apply Velcro. I actually went to a website called Hook and Loop, and that's where I found my Velcro. Uh, and actually, they it can be under a couple of different names. Uh, you can also, I have done a search on Amazon. Just make sure that if you're going to do the hook and loop, the Velcro type thing on a patch, and you can do either side, just uh, please make sure that it is the one that you would use for sewing. It doesn't have the adhesive, the sticky part on it, because you don't want to gum up your needles. So you can get that at multiple places, but we don't have that. Awesome. Quite a few people just saying thank you for the free patch. Awesome. Uh, will you be doing any more digitizing webinars? Uh, we do have things planned. There's, uh, we're not taking much of a break. We, we have a ton of things coming up that are based on digitizing. And yes, we do have some uh, things planned that we're going to be announcing shortly with regards to some classes and, uh, I guess, webinars that are coming in the future. So we, we have our whole year planned out for us, and we're going to be keeping very, very busy. Awesome. Awesome. Is that, is that it for the most part? Okay, well, I'm going to show you guys the, and I think I have to go to the other one and start Where it. can they find the classroom section on our digitizingmadeeasy.com website? Uh, if you go to digitizingmadeeasy.com, and the uh, when you signed up for a webinar, if you've purchased any of our interactive learning, because we do have interactive learning available, if you have any of our classes, there is at the very top right hand corner, it'll say log in or my classroom. Uh, if you log in, if you've registered an account and if you've purchased anything from us before, or if you register to you know, uh, get one of the free designs, then you're basically signed in. And if you uh, are signed in, you will see a little icon appear at the top right hand side that says my classroom. And all of your classes that you may have purchased previously will be available there. When we do live webinars, a lot of times we do include, uh, I guess, a rewatch for a certain period depending on the webinar. So it might be you know, two weeks or it might be two months depending on which webinar you attended. And the uh, rewatches are always in your classroom as well. So you just have to log into the site and click on My Classroom. Awesome. Do you have to have Hatch for the webinar? Uh, you do not have to have Hatch for the webinar. I do have interactive uh, lessons in 10 different programs. Uh, so anything from the Bernina, Janome, Stitch Artist, PE, Palette. Uh, so I do teach interactively in other software programs. When I do a interactive webinar, we do usually ask that attendees either have Hatch or get the trial version of Hatch because I found that uh, keeping up in a live setting, me showing you what to do, it's only, well, it is impossible for me to teach a class where everybody's using different software. It just it does not work. We actually just did a class yesterday for the Sewing and Stitchery Expo where we had like 60 people, I believe, signed up for a two and a half hour live class. And everybody did have Hatch. They got instructions on the, you know, what, how to download it. They got instructions. I sent a video out on uh, how they should set up. Make sure you have a mouse with you. Make sure you're watching on a monitor besides the computer you're working on. Here's your design files. They'll be zipped up. Here's how you are going to unzip them. So basically, everybody is prepped and ready to go. And then when we start interactive learning, uh, I am showing you where the buttons are and how to navigate the screen. So it just it makes it so much smoother. I can actually teach people something interactively in two and a half hours if we are all on the same page and platform. So it makes it much, much easier. And for those of you who are attending tomorrow's hands-on digitizing class through 
uh, Sewing and Stitchery Expo. I'm looking forward to seeing you there. That's uh, tomorrow morning. Good. Any other questions? Are we good? Good. Ready? Okay. So I'm going to show you this video real quick. And I just have to find out where it is. Okay, so this is the uh, patch design. And hopefully it's gonna go. You, you might need to help me here, James. I don't know how to make it start. It's uh, covered with the window. James is coming to my rescue, I think. Oh, here we go. I got it. I didn't need you, James. Thanks. He was just running over here. So I've taken a piece of my uh, twill and I have put it on a piece of tearaway stabilizer. You do not need to use the twill that we provide that has the PVC in the buckram. You can use any piece of material you might have in your stash. Just make sure you try to back it so that it doesn't fray. So once I have that in place using a little bit of painter's tape, I'm going to do my first running stitch, and this will just give me the outline of the design. So it's gonna give me a single run. I'm not worried about it really being strong because this is just going to show me where I'm going to cut this out. So now I'm gonna remove the tape. I'm not gonna worry about any little fraying that happened there. I'm gonna remove the stabilizer from the hoop, and then I'm going to take my scissors and keep in mind, if you do have a cutter, you're bypassing all of this all together because you're going to pre-cut it uh, with the SVG file. But if I am cutting it by hand, I'm cutting right on the running stitch. I'm, I'm not cutting outside of the running stitch. I'm not cutting on the inside. You're literally cutting right on the dotted line. And then I remove the stabilizer. I have my piece. I'm gonna take my prep patch and it is a little dimply on one side. It, it, you know, you can use other stabilizers. I've tried it with a tearaway, make sure it's a very heavy tearaway. I've done it with uh, the wet and gone as well, and it works pretty well with wet and, wet and gone, but the prep patch is the best. I just put it right on the uh, outline stitch. I put my mylar down, and then I just let the machine run, and it will run uh, you know, perfectly. That's the beautiful thing about these. The registration is perfect every single time. Once it's done, I'm just going to remove the uh, emblem from the hoop. I'm going to remove all of my mylar. And then all I have to do is literally tear the patch away from the prep patch. And then you can iron on or heat seal the post patch if you wish. The post patch just gives you a really nice finished look on the back, kind of like a professional patch that has that, you know, you don't see any of the tie-ins or tie-outs or anything hanging on the back, but it looks fantastic when it's done. So that is that one right there. And let me call up the next one. Any questions while I'm getting the next one going, Mr. Deer? Yes. Awesome. I will, you get the question going while I get the next video Absolutely. loaded. What did uh, you say when downloading the patch and hatch? Uh, when you are uh, importing the, the patch, the PES or DSA, it really doesn't matter what file it is when you're importing it into hatch. Within hatch, hatch actually has under the design settings, I guess it's embroidery settings. When you click that tab at the top, it actually uh, has, a message that says import file uh, and convert to objects or import file and leave as stitches. Normally when you bring in a PES file or any format into Hatch, it will look at the design and it will do its best to try to convert it into objects so that you can edit it. But you have the option for it not to make it into objects, but to leave it as the actual stitches, just the X and the Y stitches, the movement on the machine. And for the patch files, you need to uh, make sure that you leave it as stitches. I'm not sure why, but what I found is if you bring in the patch file and you start doing lettering and bring in another design and you're making your patch with all of your, your goodies that you want to put into it, sometimes, and I don't know why, it will actually leave a trim function after every single motif around the patch. So you're talking about hundreds of jumps and trims going on. And it's just because of that one setting. 
You, if you have another program, don't worry about anything I just said because it won't apply. Good, Mr. Deer? Awesome. awesome, okay, and I'm just coming back here. I'm gonna share the next one. We have a couple more to share and that is it and then we are done. So here and do you see that on screen, Mr. Deer, hopefully? And uh, one question. Yeah. How do you download designs from our website? Uh, hold on one sec. I'm trying to get this. Oh, I know. Enter. Uh, how you download designs from our website. The way it works is if you are part of our Ultimate Stash membership, depending on which membership you joined, you get between, what is it, uh, 20 to 50 designs per month. Or uh, There's a certain amount of designs that you can download per month that you get to choose. So we have 30,000 designs and you choose what you want. And those will actually uh, be put into, I guess, your account. And when you download them, we do give you all of the file formats and the folders will be zipped up. So you will need to extract those zip files and then all of the uh, file formats will be there. We do include all the formats because we know that many people have different brands of machines and it just makes it so much easier to give you all of them and then you take the ones you want, disregard the rest. And if you're buying individual designs, then you purchase a design for $3.95 and it doesn't matter which design it is, most of them other than our big legacy designs or in the hoop projects are all the same price. And again, it'll just come zipped up in a file and you just extract it and you can load it onto your machine and it will run. Awesome. Okay, um, yep. A few people are asking, what is he selling in Citri Expo class and are they able to join? Uh, the, uh, actually, we sold out and this happens every single year. The uh, Sewing and Stitchery Expo is in Washington State. It has been canceled this year, so they did it virtually. And I taught all my classes virtually. Uh, I normally don't advertise those on our website at all because they all sell out quickly. Uh, so we had two hands-on digitizing classes and they sold out a long time ago. Uh, but if you ever catch us live at the Sewing and Stitchery Expo, which God willing will be there next year, I usually do, it's been like three or four classes, hasn't it been, James? So I do hands-on classes every once in a while. And when uh, COVID does become a memory, uh, God willing, it won't be too, too long in the future. But when life gets back to normal, we will hopefully hit the road a little bit and do some more live sessions as well, because they are a lot of fun. So, okay, I'm going to play this one real quick. And okay, now it's going. Okay. So this is the actual string lights. And with the string lights, I've taken two pieces of organza and I've taken a piece of wet and gone stabilizer. So it's a water soluble stabilizer. And we use that for running our freestanding lace designs. And I'm just going to uh, have the white stuff in the middle. So the stabilizers in the middle, and I'm going to put my hoop in place and just try to get as many of the little wrinkles out as you possibly can. Can't you can't see the video? Okay, hold on, let me just go here for a sec. And I'm gonna have to restart that. Thank you, James. And let me try that one more time. My apologies, guys. Another question while I'm getting the video back, James. Can you buy patch prep film in the, U in the UK? Uh, I'm not sure, uh, to be honest. We would have to, again, find out if we could uh, get you shipping costs. But that I don't necessarily know if there is the same product in the UK. And right here. Okay, and share. And next time, James, I think I need to put you in the driver's seat here because it's getting a little bit embarrassing. And there, is it up? Okay, hopefully hopefully it is up. Okay. And now I just have to see if I can start the video. Is it up still? Okay, thank you. And I just need to start the video. Okay, so hopefully you can see this this time, right? Are we good? Yes, there's a delay. 
Okay, no problem. Okay, so I do have my uh, three pieces. I have two pieces of organza and I have my wet and gone stabilizer, which as I mentioned is the same product I do use for freestanding lace and a lot of our in the hoop pro uh, projects. I'm just trying to make sure that I'm getting all three pieces nice and flat. So I wanna get as many wrinkles as I can out of there. And then once it's in place, all I'm gonna do is I am going to pull it nice and tight. It does not have to be perfect by any means. I apologize for my arms being in there, but I did film this one myself. James was very busy that day. So I've just preset the hoop a little bit, make sure it's nice and clean. And then I'm going to take my piece of mylar and I'm gonna put that right over top and I'm going to tape it in the four corners just using a little bit of painter's tape. And then once it's taped in place, I'm going to take that and put it on the machine and then it just runs out all the pieces. So I was able to fit three of these string lights on one hooping. And if you're doing it on the larger hoop, you can fit even more. And I think I have a picture, this is the larger hoop. so. We are literally running a ton of pieces all on one hoop. Then all I do is I take it out. You can cut this out with a stencil cutter. Uh, so if you, if you do it with a stencil cutter, you'd have to make sure you have a nice, you know, uh, steady hand. I didn't have enough coffee that morning because I did, uh, you know, put a few little burn marks in there. But if you don't feel comfortable using a stencil cutter, you can also use a pair of scissors. So here I took a pair of scissors and I used my Ginger six, six inch double edge curves and I just cut them nice and close to the edge and it gave me pretty much the same result. And that's exactly how I did all of the string light pieces. So if you want to have a St. Patrick's Day party and do a bunch of string lights and my wife wanted me to actually get her some pipe cleaners because she wanted to make a little necklace with it. So you can use your imagination and it would be pretty easy to make whatever you want. Now, one more video to show you, and I think I will try to get this one up. Any more questions, James, while I'm getting this video up? Yes. Um, okay. Somebody is watching on mobile and downloaded the freebie. Can they download on their PC instead? Yes, definitely you can. Was that it? Do we have a patch sampler kit? Uh, people have been asking for that and we actually had a meeting on it earlier in the week and we will be putting together a sample or pack uh, in the very near future. We just have to get our heads wrapped around it and we will put it together a little kit that includes uh, a few yards of the fabric and equal amounts of the stabilizers that you'd need and you can get it all in one. Uh, we do offer 16 colors of the twill fabric and we are kind of starting to learn which ones are more popular than others, but that's one of the uh, problems is people like to have choice and uh, we just have to figure out a way if we can do a sampler kit where we still give people some, some type of choice of the uh, I guess the color skews that they're looking for. Awesome. Okay, and can this, you can sorry. you put the sorry the string lights on the on a cutter to cut the uh, the up? string lights on a cutter that might be a little bit hard. I mean, if you had a real laser cutter that had an optical eye in it. They do have equipment like that, which does, as far as you know, uh, laser cutting labels and stuff, it will literally look around it and cut it out perfectly. But if we're uh, you know, embroidering these pieces and then trying to cut it afterwards, the odds of you being that perfect when you put it from your embroidery piece or finished goods to your cutter is uh, almost slim to none. I buy a lottery ticket at the same time and see, see what happens. What were the layers you used in the second videos for the string light? Uh, the string lights, the layers that I used uh, were two pieces of organza. And James, I think right sitting over there, but uh, from the class, there's a couple pieces of organza right there in that pile, right, right behind you. 
There's a pile of stuff down, down at the bottom. Uh, it's two pieces of organza with a piece of stabilizer in between. So think of it like an Oreo cookie where you have the white stuff in the middle. So here is my organza and I will have two layers of organza and then I'll put or sandwich the stabilizer in between the two. And it is a wet and gone stabilizer. So it's the one that you would use with freestanding lace. Can you edit the text within the free patch design? Can you edit the text? Uh, I'm sure you could. You could uh, delete the text that's there and insert your own text if you don't like the uh, the kiss me with all the little shamrocks. But yep, you could you could have some fun with that and uh, create your own stuff. And please, if you uh, if you run this, if you do something different, if you do some creative, we do have two Facebook groups we we where you can share all your stuff. Uh, again, please subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already. We hit 32,000 people a little while ago, so we're excited about that. And I do have one more video to show you, and then we are pretty much done. So let me just share this one. And let me just come over here. Do you have anything else for us, James? Do you remove the patch prep film from the back of the patch, or do you put it post, or do you put post patch on top of it? Uh, I remove the prep patch, so you're going to tear the patch away from the prep patch, and then you apply the post patch. And we do have, or we will have, within our uh, free webinar that we're going to be posting on Wednesday. So that will be going live on Wednesday, and you're the first guy, you're the first people to know. Uh, we will be showing the entire process from beginning to end. So that will be on YouTube for you to watch. Okay, and here's the last video. And go share. And let me just bring this up here and share on screen. I think I have this down pack now. Okay, so what I'm going to do is start this up. Okay, so with this one, these are the earrings. And this one I did actually use my prep patch because I, w I didn't want to have to wash it out. And I knew the prep patch would give me enough uh, stability with only using two pieces of mylar. So I put mylar on the front and the back. I sandwiched the prep pap patch in between. And then I hooped the three pieces together. And after I just ran it on the machine, exactly as is. So this was like super easy to do. There's really no finishing. There's no burning. There's nothing that you know really needs to be done other than to remove the earrings from it afterwards. I did make sure that I uh, pre-wound a bobbin that was the same color as the top thread because they're earrings and they might dangle. I wanted to make sure that they look the same on both sides. So there you can see I put in a pre-wound bobbin, and then when we go to run the design, it runs very quickly. I mean, you can knock out a whole bunch of earrings in a matter of you know ten or fifteen minutes. You're going to be you're going to be done, and it's very low density, so you get that you know kind of metallic look going through the centers of it, and they, I think they look great. And then when they come off. And we'll just go quickly, but see how easily they pop out? So they just pop out and they look shiny and perfect on both sides and they're pretty much ready to go. Awesome. Okay, next question. We have a question, we have a question about these string lights. Yep. Can you resize them to make the hole bigger to fit onto the other lights? And we did have a comment from somebody else saying if you increase the size a bit, the hole will get bigger. Yes, and with these string lights, uh, I do include the EMB file for these. So if you do have the Hatch software, take the EMB file and you can just very easily make them a little bit bigger in the center. Uh, if you don't have Hatch, then you can still take the PES file into your software and it might you know, be a little bit more difficult, but you can definitely increase the size of them. But they actually, they, I like the look of these because they actually using the Mylar, I don't know if you can catch it, but it really does have a really nice sparkle to them. So awesome. 
Which 15 or 16 needle machine would you recommend for hats? Uh, for hats? Yep. Well, if you have gone on to our, um, our Digitizing Made Easy website under the same equipments tab that we have all of our patch products, you will see there that we are a huge, huge fan of ZSK machines. Uh, we have two of them in our studios in Canada. I wish I had one here. I'm really, really jealous. Uh, they are the Rolls Royce of embroidery equipment, and you can literally run a hat, uh, you know, at over a thousand stitches per minute, and it comes out incredible. So, if I'm going to choose any machine, I would choose either Tajima, Baradin, or ZSK. Those are the three top of the line machines in the industry. If you're price sensitive, there are other brands, but generally, kind of the same as with software, you. You get what you pay for, and I would, you know, if you're talking about having a machine long term, I would opt to spend a little bit more to make sure you have a machine that lasts decades. Awesome. We have uh, two more questions. Yep. A few, quite a few people are actually asking how they can sign up for Wednesday's class. So just so you all know, we will be sending out a link in our newsletter as well as posting on all of our social medias. So be sure to follow us on all of our social medias as well for as well as sign up for our newsletter if you haven't. Yeah. The second question is can I use wet and gone instead of patch prep, prep prep patch for the earrings? I do not have prep patch. Yes, you can. Uh, you can use wet and gone as well. I would suggest uh, using, uh, try it with one piece. And if you get, uh, I guess, any issues, then maybe use two pieces of wet and gone with two pieces of mylar. So just make sure you sandwich it in between the two layers. The reason why I didn't want to use the, uh, the wet and gone is because if I have mylar on either side and I am wetting what's in between, then I might have, uh, after two or three weeks, moldy uh, St. Patrick's earrings. So if you're only gonna wear them once, then it might be fine, but I, I was just worried about moisture being trapped in between those two layers of plastic, which is why I chose. But yes, you could use another stabilizer as well. Awesome. And with the prep patch, do you have to have the rough side up or down? Uh, the rough side generally goes down. Uh, and the reason why is more about giving you stability within your hooping. Because if the, if the uh, I guess, dimply side is down, when you press your hoop in, it tends to hold it a little more securely. Awesome. Is that it? Yeah, any last minute questions, guys? I, I really appreciate it. We normally don't do a Facebook Live on Saturday because we know Saturday is fun day for most people. You have no idea what I had to do to bri bribe James to come in on a Saturday and do this with me. But uh, it's all, he's smiling over there in the corner. I'm happy to be here. Thank you everyone for joining us. <laughs> That's what he's saying to you. What? No, just kidding. Uh, no, he, he is. I, I have awesome, awesome kids. Uh, if you were at the Sewing Stitchery Expo uh, virtually the last couple of days, you would have met uh, my daughter, Beth, and my son, Jesse. They were running the virtual booth. So uh, all the kids are, are involved in the business, and we do actually love what we do. So doing this on a Saturday is no big deal at all. Uh, and we will try to schedule the next one though on a Thursday, like we normally do. Awesome. Awesome. And we will be posting all the links from today's stream in the comments, whether on Facebook or YouTube Live. So be sure to check the comment bar on the side. Okay. So, and as we said for Wednesdays, this was a you got the news first regarding the Patches Made Easy webinar, kind of going up on Wednesday, and that will be going up on YouTube, correct? Is that correct? The patches made uh, the patches made easy webinar will be going up on YouTube, but to receive the free design which we're offering, there will be a link in the description where you will be sent to our site to just fill out and register, and we will then send you the actual file so that you can try making your own patch. Is that correct? It's gotten to the point that I'm being uh, I'm being told what's happening because my kids are doing such an awesome job. With, uh, with steering the ship and moving things forward. I'm just, I just get to digitize and play all the time pretty much for now. So, so we're good, Mr. Deer? Yeah, we're good. Okay, well, I, I thank you guys for joining us and uh, I hope you, you liked uh, everything that you saw. If you're interested in the St. Patty's Bundle, there should be a link there as well and you get all the 
the bonus gnomes, uh, keep your eye open. Easter's coming and there'll be another another Easter gnome. I, I know for sure because he's already done and I have, I have a few more surprises throughout the year as well. So we're gonna have a, a great year. We're trying to keep busy. Uh, I know if you're in Canada, they went back on lockdown again and in the US, please stay safe. All of our friends in, in Texas, we hope that you are safe and warm. We know you guys went through a lot recently and you know globally it's just, it's a, it's a little crazy the way the world is right now, but we just have to have faith that everything will be good. So blessings, good health, and we'll see you next time. Anything else, James? Thank you so much for joining us and the uh, next step of your embroidery legacy starts here with us. Wow, aren't my kids awesome? <laughs> Thanks guys.